That's that's not a sound effect, guys. That's actually a rooster. I'm in the Florida Keys, and um, I'm actually at one of my old favorite. Look, all the chickens. Um, I'm actually at one of my old favorite moth collecting sites. This is the Publix on Key Largo, uh, Mile Marker 101. Um, a few years back, they changed the lights, and now they don't. You have those old fluorescents anymore. They have different like updated lighting, but. This used to be an amazing spot for moths. I walked these halls, both the up, up and down stairs here, and I found something really, really cool. And I'm super excited because we are gonna show you um, how to get eggs from an IO moth. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna do this whole thing where we show you, we catch the moth, we find it, and we're gonna show you the, the system that we do in order to be successful in getting your moth to lay eggs. Guys, uh, the Florida Keys Isle Moth is pretty special. I'm gonna show you more about it in this video. Check this out. All right, we're gonna come around the corner and see what we can find here. Walls don't look, there's not a whole lot. Oh, 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 guys, Isle Moth. Female Io, guys. Look at these eyes. Oh, sweet. Here's what we're gonna do. We are going to take her oh this is awesome uh, the florida keys subspecies of the io moth is actually very very cool because it's different colors than the io moth in the rest of the country guys i've never reared this thing i've tried to get eggs a few times i've never been successful so we're going to try it this time and see what happens all right so what i did with this io moth guys i'm going to do something a little different um, we caught this girl, there she is sitting there, and um, most silk moths, when you put them in a container, you don't need host plant at all. You can just, you know, put them in a container and, or an envelope or whatever, and the female will just lay eggs just because she needs to get rid of them. Um, and they don't feed, so it's not like you're starving them or anything like that. Uh, it's, they just do their business. But for whatever reason, the, the IO moth down in the Florida Keys, I have not been able to get them to lay eggs. I've caught three females in the past. Each of them have just sat there in the envelope or in the container and not got anything. So what I did this time, guys, I'm just gonna show you real quick. Um, hopefully she gives us some eggs. I'm gonna open this real quick. Um, I actually put the female in the container. There's the girl right there. It looks like she may have dropped an egg. I'll have to check that out. Uh, but I put some of one of the known host plants of the Isle moth down here is Jamaican dogwood. And so I put some Jamaican dogwood leaves in a water pick just to see if it stimulates egg laying. So uh, guys, what we'll do is I'm just gonna leave her in here. We'll come back in a little bit and see if she has done any magic for us and give us, given us any eggs. I'm crossing my fingers because I've been on this project for 21 years and I've wanted to breed this, the Florida Keys version of the Io Moth and I've not been able to. So if she gives me some eggs, that'll be a first. Okay guys, it's been a day and we're going to check out our Io Moth container and see what's going on, see if she gave us any eggs. And oh my gosh, guys, I, I see it already. Look at this, oh baby. Well, she's impressive. She is very impressive. And it looks like there's an egg right there on top. Okay, but what I'm looking at is behind her. Look at this right here, guys. That is the money right there. So. That is super exciting, guys, because uh, it, it's been a frustration trying to get eggs from this species, and because it's just they just haven't. She hasn't. They haven't given me eggs, um, and so for whatever reason, um, this one, this subspecies, seems to want prefer to have the stimulation of the host plant in order to lay eggs. So she's still got plenty of eggs left in that abdomen of hers. So hopefully she'll continue to do business. And um, thank you so much, Mrs. Io Moth, for your cooperation and support of the Keys Moths channel. Uh, maybe you wanna be the new mascot and bump the faithful beauty out of the way. 
Uh, we'll see. Let's see how this goes, guys. Let me, first of all, let me check out. Is this just on this piece down here? Okay, so. All right, let's see here. That, that is the money right there, guys. So we got three, six, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5. 45 eggs plus one on the stem here. That's 46 eggs and, uh, and counting. I think she's got more. So let's see how these guys do. Guys, this is how you get eggs from silk moth. Sometimes species just need a little bit of help from the chemical stimulation of their host plant. Uh, but guys, if you, if you uh, like the video, you know, make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. And it supports our Keys Moths channel when you like and comment on the videos. Guys, comment down below. What are some methods that you've gotten had success with getting moths to lay eggs in captivity? Um, guys, I'm excited. Stay tuned for more episodes coming up about this, this Iomoth cluster of eggs that we have. We're gonna see how they do.